Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is gonna be a fun makeup look, this graphic neon green liner. And I'm gonna be using, don't, 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 oh my God, I already got it all dirty. I'm gonna be using the Elf and J Kissa collab. I'm so proud of her. This palette is so beautiful and this lime green. I've been wanting to use a neon shade, so I'm really happy there was one in this palette. So let's go ahead and get started. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Look at these like five lash extensions, just like me. First thing I'm gonna do is take the RCMA four part kit. It's just like concealers. I'm gonna mix a couple, this one, a little bit of this. I just kind of dip into all of them. I'm going to apply that under the brow bone here and just clean up my dusty, crusty regrowth because I haven't got my brows done in a second. Harper. If you're gonna be in here, you gotta be a little quiet. I just like to use this color because it's closer to my skin tone color instead of using like a super white concealer. Bring this out all the way. And I'm not gonna put a lot of this on my lid. I'm actually gonna use Tarte Shape Tape for my lid area because I feel like it dries down nice and matte. All right, that's good. So now I'm gonna go with a little Tarte Shape Tape and just put like a drop in the center here, a dollop. And I'm gonna take a mini beauty blender and blend this out onto my lid. Cancel out all that redness. We need a nice base. This makeup look is actually very stressful for me because I have to get the sides even. Let me tell you, it's easy to do one eye with this look, but to make the other eye look the same, now that's where I'm going to feel a little bit of pressure. I really just wanna do a fun graphic eye. So I'm not gonna let it intimidate me, okay? Says the girl whose brows are crooked. Let me just try to make more things crooked on my face here. I'm gonna set the brow bone and the crease. I'm not gonna set the lid because I really wanna keep that tacky for the eyeshadow we're gonna put down. I don't want my crease to be all smushy because if we're doing a graphic liner, I really don't want it to melt away or transfer. So I just want it to be nice and matte in this area. And I'm just using Laura Mercier translucent powder for that. Since I'm here, I'm actually gonna run that through my brows too. A little bit of powder, and then I'll dust it away later. Now is the hard part, okay? So we gotta get both sides of my eyes even. Listen, if I mess up, it's fine. I'll just do it again. All right, so I'm gonna grab this liquid liner and I'm gonna try to follow my lash line. So I'm just gonna start here. And I'm just gonna create the line on the other side too. It's pretty good. Whew. This is so hard to do here. I'm gonna hunch, sorry, but I need to rest my elbow. Anytime you're doing precision work, it's always good to have an anchor. And my desk is a little bit low for applying my makeup, so I'm always kind of hunching. Going with a light hand to get the shape first and then I'll fill it in more. Oh, I think that's pretty good. Now it's the other side I have to worry about. I feel pretty good about the shape. Now I'm just gonna clean it up and in order for me to clean it up, I need to be balls deep in my mirror. So I'm gonna do that off camera. It's just going in and making the line look straight. Nothing that, you know, y'all need to see. So I'm gonna be doing that and I'll be right back. Okay, okay. Filled in both sides. I'm feeling pretty good about it. I feel like it looks pretty even. So now it's time to fill in the negative space, which I actually even really like the negative space, but we're gonna fill it in. I am going to be using this new palette, which I'm so excited about, the J Kissa and Elf palette. One, it's affordable, that's amazing. And two, all of these shades are so unique and to the point where I don't think that I have any of these shades identical to this in any palette. And I can't think of one where I'm like, oh yeah, I have a shade like that. That's exactly like that, no. Love that she added a neon color because neon's hot right now. Neon is hot right now. And I've been wanting to do a neon look, so I'm really excited. Also, this brown BFF, I feel like this is so beautiful because it's not even a typical brown. It's like a mustardy brown. Mac and cheese over here, which is so cute. This whole palette actually makes me inspired to play with color. Very excited about that. I'm gonna be going into Alien and I'm gonna apply that all over my lid. But before I do that, I'm gonna take a little bit more of the Shape Tape Concealer on a flat brush, and I'm gonna just clean up and add a little more eyeshadow base to 
this lid because I really want that neon to pop. And I'm gonna do one eye at a time because I don't want this to set too much, this base. Now I'm gonna go into this alien shade on a flat brush. And I don't know if I told you guys this, but I'm actually going to her launch party tonight. That is why I'm getting ready and filming my look. And I love that she is so artsy fartsy. Oof, yes, yes, yes. I think I need a fluffier flat brush for the initial application. Yeah, other one was too dense. Yeah, this is better. Wow, that is bright. First initial reaction to this palette. This is not a review. I'm not doing like a full blown review here. However, I will say that this is not only an affordable eyeshadow, but it's pigmented and neon colors a lot of the time are really hard to get pigment. They're just a little harder to work with, but this one is really nice. So I'm using now the concealer brush to get closer to the edge and then feathering it out into this inner corner. This is like a, I don't even know what brand this is. Performance, it has like a square edge and it's tiny, so I'm gonna use that to get into this area over here. I'm currently debating adding a, a slight line to the lash line here. Hey, okay, that's good. Now for lashes, I have a few stragglers here. They're just holding on to dear life, so I think I need a lash. Let me just curl these really quickly. Whatever I have left up in here. Look at those three little lashes. For lashes, I'm gonna be using Batty B, Batty Lashes, okay? One lash on, I'm gonna go ahead and put the other lash on, I'll be right back. So next I'm moving into foundation. I'm gonna be using my L'Oreal Infallible in 485. And I'm gonna start applying this to my face. Bring it down my neck because this color is, uh, this color is a little warmer than my body right now. Like I feel like my, my skin is very olive right now. Like it's always olive, but I feel like it looks more green than usual. Guys, I'm still not over my birthday party that Steven threw for me. If you didn't see it, I made a highlight on my Instagram um, of the whole thing, but basically, I mean, it was just the sweetest thing, honestly, that he's ever done. And I'm still dying about it. He surprised me 100%, took me to a hotel, told me he packed my bags, which really terrified me at first because I was like, packed my bags for my birthday, like makeup, hair, like outfit. Like, what do you mean packed my bags? And then we get to the hotel the next morning, all of a sudden hair and makeup show up. So he hired Ariel and Jesus to do my hair and makeup. And that was amazing because they did an incredible job, but they didn't let me look in a mirror the whole time. And I had no control over my hair or makeup or my outfit. And so finally, when my makeup and hair was done, I looked at it and I thought to myself, this is an interesting hairstyle, it looks like Bell. And then um, I thought that in my head. And then he's like, are you ready for your outfit? And I opened the closet and he had a custom bell dress made for me. And I about died, but I was so confused. I'm like, wait, what are we doing for my birthday where you and I are gonna dress up as Beauty and the Beast? I just went with it. It was so much fun to be surprised. Crazy enough, I don't think, there's really never been a time in my life where I had no control over what was going on. You know, I was just so in the dark, but it was a lot of fun. Then he took me back to our house, which now I understand why we were at the hotel. He took me to the hotel so that he could have the whole house set up and turned into Beauty and the Beast ball party. And everyone was there and it was a huge surprise and it was so amazing. Like I'm still thinking about it and every two seconds I think about it and I just think to myself like, oh my God, this man is amazing. Like what in the Disney movie type of shit did he pull here? That was like the sweetest thing ever. He says he retires and he doesn't think he could ever top that, but I have faith in him that he will. But I think it's so nice that every year for my birthday, he tries to make me feel so special. It was the most amazing birthday party and it was so fun and everything went really well. And like Thea was twerking. The next morning she comes into my room and she goes, look what everyone showed me last night. She started twerking, you guys. I was like, oh my God. You need to go to church, woman. But it was so funny. It was the best. I mean, we all just had such a good time. Okay, my forehead still looks a little pale, but I'm gonna tan it up with another foundation real quick. 
I'm gonna go in with my RCMA foundations here. This is in the shade Dark Shinto. I just grab a few of these colors. I'm picking it up on my Smith 103 brush and I'm gonna push this color into the hairline lightly and start really warming up the perimeter of my face, tanning it up, especially my forehead. Anyways, this birthday was just unbelievable and it was the best surprise of my life. Like I felt like it was my wedding day all over again. And the fact that he wanted me to feel like a princess, I thought that was just the cutest thing. Okay, I'm gonna stop talking about it because I know it's like sick. It's actually sick. And also use this to warm up and contour the cheekbones. Boom, make sure you push it into that hairline. I know you guys can see my tracks. I'm aware, okay. All right, now for concealer and concealer always makes me feel like, whew, so much better about myself because it brightens and especially with something so bold, it just makes everything look cleaner. So I'm gonna go in with my NARS Creamy Concealer. I like to take a little bit of biscuit and apply that just right here, mostly because this one is a little bit more peach. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then I go in with Ginger. This is more of like my highlight regular concealer color. Okay, then I'm gonna take my Beauty Blender and blend that all out. I just feel instantly alive when I apply concealer. Like, damn, there she is. Oh yeah. She is bright and right. I'm actually gonna also put a little ginger down the center of my nares. Boom. And then I'm gonna blend out. Anyways, you guys, if you don't follow Jay Kissa, you should follow her. I'll leave all her stuff in the description box, um, whose palette this is. I'm sure many of you follow her, but she's so talented and I like her methods of makeup. She does things very differently. She has so many different colorful looks and she's she's not afraid to like pair every color in the world together. And I think that's really awesome. And if you're into, I mean, I know you guys are into colorful looks cause you ask me for colorful looks and it's just, you know, it's not in my blood as much as it's in her blood. Like she is so good with color. And I love just the way she does her makeup. She doesn't wear foundation, but she like shows you how to do your makeup without foundation. And I love it. Like her skin looks phenomenal. It's insane. I'm gonna go ahead and set these under eyes. I've been feeling so dry, like my under eyes you know you go through phases sometimes where your skin's dry and your under eyes look like ball sacks and that's okay happens to us all I know that when I drink more water it goes away and like also traveling my skin was so weird in Paris it was like dry really dry under eyes and like around my nose but my the rest of my skin was all of a sudden super oily all right I'm gonna set with some Laura Mercier translucent powder just apply that under the eye I'm trying to apply just a very little amount because like I said, I'm dry under the eyes right now. The more powder I put, the more ball sacky it looks. Now I could use this flat side to set a straight line down my nose as well, or attempt to do a straight line. Doesn't my nose look extra buttony all of a sudden? It's like a little who person. I'm also gonna take a little bit of that powder and put it over this area right here of my forehead. I'm having a little bit of some breakouts here. So I like to make sure that it's really matte on top of any breakouts because I do not want that shining through later. Okay. And then I'm also, I guess I should just go ahead and do this as well. I don't like to leave that on very long. I just like to kind of outline it and then just like, bye because I'll look ashy AF if I leave it on too long. While that's baking, I'm just gonna run a little soap through my brows. Yes, that's right, soap. Because I want them to be a little bit more feathery. And soap helps them like, it's almost like a brow gel. You see how this one now, the hairs are defined. For the lower lash line, I'm taking a dose of colors pencil brush. I'm gonna go into BFF and run that on my lower lash line. Now I'm gonna take the blue liner. Oh, I, have, I have liquid liner. How did I even get liquid liner here? Somebody tell me. Like. Oh, see, trying to put the cap on. This is why I don't put caps on things. This is what happens. So I'm starting with this outer corner and I kind of like that look. I went slightly below the lash line and then I'm gonna fade the rest into the waterline here. Oh my gosh, got so much eyeliner on my contact. That's gonna suck for me later. Now I'm taking my pencil brush that I used with the BFF shade and I'm just gonna graze the edges of that. So pretty. So I just added a little mascara to my lower lashes. Now I'm gonna dust this off. Okay, I'm actually gonna take my bronzer and like take it down my neck because my neck's looking a little pale here. Gotta hit those ears one time. I'm gonna take a little bit of MAC Peaches. I always look in the mirror of the blush and there's no mirror. I'm like, give me a mirror in here, okay? I need a mirror. 
I'm actually gonna take some of that blush on a blending brush and also just like kind of pop it up here. Just like a little bit right here. Now I gotta take some Fix Plus because I am feeling dry AF. And taking a pencil brush and dip into this shade from the palette and apply that right in the inner corner. Yep, yep, yep. I'm gonna put a little bit of that on the tip of my nose too. Bing, 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 bing. For my highlight, I'm going into the MAC Hyper Reel and this is the Shimmery Peach Palette. I'm gonna be taking a little bit of this one, a little bit of that one, applying a light amount of highlight. I don't want too much, you know, because I feel like the eyes are so um, the star. I don't want too much highlight. I don't wanna look all crazy. You know what I hate? That all my lip liners that I love to use are in a purse somewhere in my house because I take them on the go. I think next time I find, I think next time I find an, a lip liner and a lipstick that I love, the combo, I'm gonna have to buy two of each because I need one stationary here in my home and another one in like my purse. How many of you guys have like lipsticks in all your purses? Lipsticks everywhere. And how many of you lose lipsticks, like your favorite lipsticks all the time? Because it's like you take it with you, it's, it's mobile, it's in your purse, and then I don't know, somewhere along the way it's like where to go, I don't know. Now I'm gonna be taking MAC Strip Down Lip Liner and I'm gonna line my lips. I've been kind of going like round on the Cupid's bow instead of like pointy. You see how I went like across? The Cupid's bow gives my lip like a more turned up look, like pillowy. For my lipstick shade, I'm gonna be using the KKW Nude Number no. Two. Okay, so I place it in the middle and then I use my finger and I pat it in. Ba ba da bum ba. I wonder what I'm gonna wear tonight with this look. Now I'm like thinking about my outfit. I'm kind of just like, Katie's gonna be here to pick me up any minute now, and I'm out here just like. All right guys, so this is it. This is the finished graphic liner makeup look. I hope you guys enjoyed this Get Ready With Me. If I was a little bit more quiet in this video, it was because this look actually required a lot of concentration. And so I was like, oh, don't fuck it up, don't fuck it up. But I hope you guys enjoyed it. Anyways, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Oh, these lashes are throwing up gang signs over here. I think I got lash glue on my contact. A little fucking shiner over here. Nice and red, just like I like it. Se necesita un poco de gracia. Ah, my hair's stuck in my earring. Ah.